bound pocket. So this type of pocket is the one that usually goes on the breast of a uh, suit coat or a blazer. Um, it's usually on the left side on, for men. So this is the kind of pocket we're doing. So we're going to have, this is the body. So this would be like the jacket. Uh, we have the welt, and then we have the pocket bag. Now you'll notice that one pocket bag is a half inch bigger than the other pocket bag. So um, that's very important. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we need to sew the welt. So we're gonna fold it right sides together, and we're gonna sew a quarter seam so we're closing it a quarter. We're gonna back tack. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. One quarter seam, back tack. All right, then we're gonna turn this right side up. We're gonna turn it right side up. And when you do, you want to make sure you have those nice, sharp points. Okay, and then the best thing to do is to go to the iron and just press this nice and flat. Okay, and then also normally there would be fusing in here to, to make this welt a little bit stiffer. Okay, so we're going to press it with our fingers, but normally you would go to the iron and press it. All right, now... We're going to, you see these drill holes right here. There's a drill hole here, here, and here. That's the placement for our welt pocket and uh, for the pocket bag as well. So the opened, the raw edges here are going to face the drill holes. Okay, so they're evenly spaced, and these are the drill holes. Okay, and then what I want you to do is pin just at the edge here, just so it doesn't move around. Okay, so we want to keep that nice and flat. Next, what we're going to do is you have the two pocket bags. And one pocket bag is, again, longer than the other. So the short bag... The short bag, we're going to place on top. So as we place on top, we want to center this notch to this drill hole here. Okay, so then you can see you have this kind of half inch hang off and a half inch hangover here um, from the actual welt. Okay, that's important to know. Okay, and then we're going to pin it so it doesn't move. The bag that has that the longer one, the one that's half inch longer, that one is going to be placed right next to or touching the other pocket so that they're both uh, opposite of each other. Okay, we're going to pin that one. All right, now we're going to draw a quarter seam all the way around this slit here, okay? So I'm going to draw a line across one quarter in, okay? And you'll see where, do you see where the pocket welt is ended? That's the finish of the pocket welt. So right there, I'm gonna go across. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing, is going across, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going across right where the pocket welt is ended. Now on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw another quarter line. Okay, and then I'm gonna connect and connect. So I have this rectangle that is actually a half inch wide, so one quarter, one quarter, okay? 
All right, so now we're going to sew on that rectangle, that line. So your eye is going to be right here, watching this line line up right in between the presser foot. I'm going to start sewing. When I get to the corner here, I'm going to put my needle down. I don't want to go beyond that mark. And then I'm going to turn. And then I'm going to sew straight across. Now, this is the important part. What you want to do is you don't want to sew on top of the pocket welt at the corner here. Okay, that's got to stay loose. But you want it as close as you can to that um, finished corner of the welt. Okay, so once I get there, I'm going to put my needle down and turn again, and I'm going to go straight across. Okay, again, I'm going to do a few stitches until I drop off. Again, dropping off is uh, um, not dropping off from the actual welt itself. Okay, all right, then turn, and I'm going to go straight across again. Do a few stitches because I want to make sure I get right on that corner. And then turn and I'm going to sew over my stitch again. Uh, not all the way around, but just do a few stitches across. And then clip all this. All right, now we're going to go to the iron and we're gonna do the pressing and cutting. So I'm gonna take these pins out and um, we're gonna to go to the iron. All right, so what we gotta do is we have to cut into the middle here. So I'm just gonna pinch this and just kinda of give it a clip, my scissors, so I have this hole. Okay, now I'm going to cut in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not going all the way to the edge here. I'm going to go about this far, then I'm going to come in at an angle and I'm going to go to that corner. I'm going to clip to that corner. Now this is really important that you don't, you have to clip really close to the thread, but you don't want to cut the thread, okay? If you end up cutting the thread, the best thing to do is go back to the machine, okay, you want that close, okay? so. If you do cut the thread, then go back to the machine and sew all the way around again. And then come back and finish clipping. Okay, so I'm getting as close as I can without cutting the thread. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm only gonna go about that far. And then I'm gonna come out an angle and clip. Get as close as I can. And then the last one here and then I just want to get in there and clip. Okay, so I've done that. Okay, so the next thing is, is now we've got to turn, we're going to turn all of this inside. So we're turning the pocket bag inside and the pocket welt is going to stand up. So I've got all that inside. As you can see, there's my pocket welt. All right, so what I want to do is I want to have this nice square. Do you see how nice and sharp those corners are right in there? That's what I want. So I'm going to press that. And I want this seam to be nice and flat. And then on this side, I want those corners to be nice and clean and squared. Press. Okay, then I'm going to close the bag. So after I've done this, I'm going to close the bag. And you'll notice now that the bags are even. Do you see how they're even? So now I'm going to press so that that seam is facing up. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to look at my corners. Okay. If I have a bunch of 
wrinkles in here, then it's easy to just kind of pull on the fabric and press it, and that will get rid of those wrinkles. Okay, with my welt, I wanna make that nice and flat and straight. Okay, so there's my, my welt. So this is the actual pocket. You'll notice that the welt is bigger than the little hole here. And what it does is it, it covers that seam as well. Okay, um, now there's two ways of closing up this welt. You can edge stitch right here and then just do a little back tack on each side. Or for much better higher end uh, jackets and, and suits, that is hand stitched. So it's a little bit of a hand whip stitch. Right now we're just going to um, edge stitch it, okay? All right, so like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of an edge stitch right here. So I'm gonna start at the end and I want, I want to get as close to the edge as I can. That just makes it much prettier. So I wanna start right where that little corner is right there because I don't wanna sew on top of my body. So I'm gonna edge stitch. Okay, when I get to the end, I'm gonna drop off and then I'm going to back tack. Okay, so it'll, that holds the pocket bag down. So I'm gonna do that with the other side. So again, I wanna start at the bottom and work my way up. If you start at the top and work down, it could move and then start gathering up and then you have like a fold. So we don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna start starting right, right there, right on the edge. And I'm gonna stitch that down. Okay, now the other thing that we have to do that's probably the most important thing on this welt pocket is we need to close the bag. Otherwise, we're gonna put our hands in and go, hello. So we're gonna close the bag. All right, so you're going to, you're gonna fold the fabric away and do you see where the stitching is right here? That's how close we're gonna get. So we're gonna get right on to where that stitching is and we're going to top stitch right over that and then back tack and then we're just going to sew around the pocket bag. The seam allowance is a half inch so you can just follow your um, eye right here at the half inch line on the plate. Okay, now where you wanna end is where this stitch is here. So do you see this red stitch? You wanna go right over that stitch. And then you wanna back tack. Okay, when you're finished, your pocket is done. So as you can see, now I've got my hand in the pocket and, um, and nothing falls out. Okay, so this is a bound welt pocket.